Good morning. It is early. It's like 8, 8.30ish. I have a package coming and I don't want to miss it. I also could probably get most of Spider-Man finished before the package gets. It should be here by 10.30. With all the package dilemmas, I just don't want to risk it because I'm leaving. And Ern's not here to help me hunt it down. And Alex is going to look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, hey, let's go drive around all day and hunt down this package. That's what's going on. I need to make sure that Omar went back to sleep. Yeah, he's in there. Are you coming with me? I gotta clean some stuff up on this real quick. Really, that's it. Scruff is gonna send me back the flyer. We gotta color some stuff today. It's early, I don't really know what's going on. Ooh, Miss Hillette. We'll see what happens. I unboxed all my ink, and this is fucking insane. So I basically have tattooing me for the next five years, which is wild. Not an ad. They just make good ink. If you're a tattooer, if you're not a tattooer, it wouldn't bother because they won't sell it to you. Wait, you want a package? Oh, wait, you're a Oh, I think we have to go get a suitcase today, actually. He's here. How's it going? How are you? Good. I got another, uh, like, 14 boxes coming. Tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. Omar. 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 Come on. Come in here. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so we gotta go get a suitcase, but I used to take this Adidas suitcase. And then people are gonna be like, what happened to the Adidas <coughs> Adidas suitcase? Nothing, but the zipper is fucking broken on it for sure. And it uh it got kind of jacked during the flood. The great flood. And we gotta go to Target, I think. I don't know. Shit I don't wanna do, but we gotta do it. Cause we're leaving tomorrow. Leaving tomorrow. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. To the luggage store. Lagage. Lagage. I think it's gonna be the fastest way to get to Cherry Creek from here. Damn, we're gonna go over to Cherry Creek. Yeah, that's where it is. Woo! It's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Fucking Ozark last night, though. Dude, I'm excited to watch that last episode. Are you serious? You didn't even look it up? You didn't look up the suitcase stuff? It was though? here the last time I was in the store. Which store. was when? I guess at the beginning of the summer. Yeah, the Toomey store is here. Okay. The Florida Baggage Company is here too. Okay, good. That's not quite the L I thought. Could have been worse. It's closed down. It's closed. It says coming August 2018, okay. which is last month. Cool. Which means that that sign is lying. It should technically be open now since it is September 2018. Yeah, we put that together with your first statement. No, thank you. Thanks, appreciate it. All right, so we're going to London, I guess. Where's that? Luggage store, Denver. All right, yeah. tight. That was a fun trip to the mall. Slight L of the day. Alex thought the mall still had a store. It reminds me of a story. It had for like three years at that. Yeah, but you just still, you're just making me think of like a, where your grandpa's like, oh, let's go over to, then you go like, oh, well, I guess I haven't been here in 15 years. <laughs> nice. It's a, it's a coop. It's because I'm all cooped up in it. Well, you're killing it today, Bill. Can't park here because there's you have to have a permit right now. Oh, I'm just updating the vlog on the situation. I used to park here for fucking work, man. You also used to catch shit for it. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying that it was like highly True. enforced parking lot is you're what right. I'm saying. I guess you're all I strive to hear. Yes, Teddy. You were right. Especially when I'm fucking right. Fuck you. You gotta change your mindset, dog. You gotta imagine open parking spaces. All you're imagining is future stress. Why do they make this so tall? They're like on my tippy tippy toes. Fucking complimentary blow dry. Then you can just come in here with wet hair and they'll just blow dry your shit. Oh, somebody's a close on mouth. Whoa, chill. The baseball game today. Fucking rock. That's why it's so crazy. I stayed here for like a week. I would remember it. I know you did. This is fucking ridiculous. It's not an actual store. Mm -hmm. It's a van out front. Cool. Um, do you have any idea where there is a store that sells luggage? A store that sells luggage? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I we just store luggage. Um, <laughs> they tell you that too. We should probably stop having me be the person to figure out <laughs> where things are. Because Let's go get a drink. We, we deserve a drink. I looked up luggage <laughs> store, not luggage store. Now we're at the luggage department of a hotel. We got bootleg pop tart. How dumb life is <laughs> in Inglewood. It's like three blocks of our house. 
Can we make sure that it's an actual luggage store before we go there? It, it's, I found this one on. Damn, it's a squad. Scooter squad. Scooter. In Target. Who the fuck buys travel shampoo? I do. Why don't we just buy shampoo when we get to Detroit? Because there's no reason to do this. Yo, Phil, settle down. And you have a friend named Phil? Sit. Yo, settle, Phil. We take travel Q-tips for the dab rig? We should. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Good call, dude. 30 is not enough. We're going to do way more dabs than 30. Thanks, how are you today? I'm okay, except for a flight that I have booked for tomorrow. Den well, it's supposed to be from Denver to Detroit, and it's backwards. It's from Detroit to Denver. Uh-oh. Yeah. Flexible, and thank you for being a gold member. Right, thank you so much. Was that what happened? We're leaving early, but I didn't have to pay any money. The escalation worked. Jesus Christ, they're gonna try and hit me for 1100 more dollars. That bitch. To go get a suitcase at 10 a.m. What time is it right now? I didn't get up till 10, so it was like uh, 11. When you okay, so we left at 11. It's two. Oh my God. Whoa. Hey, how are you? I like that orange color. I admire the two of you with your tattoos. Oh, okay. Really I think so. You didn't hear that a long time ago, though, did you? No, not too no, often. No, no. Uh, you have no tattoos? Um, no. <laughs> well, I was always going to have, I thought I'd get a little butterfly on the ankle. Yeah, then it's not too saw... late. Ooh. Briggs and Riley ain't playing no games. It's not that big. That like 200 bucks. I definitely like the orange one. I said luggage, I said we'll always give you our family. That is the new line by Eagle Creek. Okay. Again, it has their no matter what warranties, anything forever, but Eagle Creek has to do the repair, so that's their National Geographic set. Yeah, that's great. So we are finally home. The day is winding down. Obviously, shoes came in today. There's really like not a review of the shoe. There's only, well, this is the shoe. Uh, there's nothing to review about it. It's very rare. I think 200 pairs released only in New York City at BBC Ice Cream. Shout out to my motherfucking BBC family. Size 13 came in today. Had these ship next day air so I could get these before I went to Detroit tomorrow. Same Pharrell vibe. The only difference really here is the, the lug bottom sole front, but this came on the Afro Solar Pack. Mine are just lost in the mail somewhere, still. I'm really sad about it too, because I see them everywhere and I don't have them and it makes me feel sad. And then I feel stupid because I have a lot of shoes, so I shouldn't feel sad at all. So these are a little different than regular Pharrell's because they say N-E-R-D. They came with yellow laces. There's been two other pairs that have released, a black and 3M pair and a white and, what is it, red and blue pair with yellow, I do believe. And then this pair is the third installment, which is green and yellow. If you watch Bullet RC's channel, he said that Pharrell had these on. I don't remember where they were. Him and Pharrell were hanging out, smoking, chilling, coming up with beats. And Pharrell told Bullet RC that these are the Mount Trashmores, which is a park in Virginia that used to be a landfill. I'm from North Carolina. I'm not from Virginia. I'm not going to act like I really know. I have Google, and it told me. But he called them the Mount Trashmores. There's been really no official naming it that, but if Pharrell said it, I would say that's where the inspiration came from. My sources say that each NERD color way has some sort of inspiration from Virginia, but there's been really no clarification on what any of it means. These are super rare. They're selling for a shitload, uh, like $2,000. I luckily got mine for retail, which is a blessing. I'm forever blessed by my friends and plugs and colleagues and friends. Shit, I haven't even put them on yet. I'm going to assume they fit the same as all the other ones. I will let you know if they don't. Real quality seems there. Seems like the Chinese quality was a little different. Like, I don't know. It just seemed... I don't know, the knit didn't seem as sturdy on those. I'll have to go like do a comparison. Once the Afro pack gets here, we'll compare all the Pharrell's that I have. NERD is stitched in, which is nice. First one I think was 3M taping. I, I prefer the stitched in ones for sure. And then just regular stuff like Boost, olive green, different color green, black paint on my finger still. Red, you got the NERD brain. Super sick, super happy to get these in the collection. Definitely gonna take these to Detroit and Flex, tattooing them probably, you know, just get wild. Thank you, thank you, thank you to BBC. If you're in New York and you go to BBC, just give anyone there a hug for me and just say it's from Teddy. So I went out today to get a suitcase and I totally had plans to just get like a hard shell suitcase because I probably that's probably what I need. And 
I have like smaller ones. I have that Adidas bag that's not big enough. And I know when I sh show the bag, people are like, Teddy, that's also not big enough. I didn't like any of the hard top ones. Like they're all really like, I don't know, I don't love them. They're boring and they're just whatever. So, and the only reason I bought, oh, it's already right here, I already showed it. I got this Eagle Creek National Geographic jump off, which is really nice and waterproof and has all this cool shit. This is getting blacked out immediately. I do like the fact that there's like nice yellow accents when you open it up. It's got strap. It's got these sick zippers, like weatherproof zippers and compartments. It's a really cool bag. I'm hoping that it has enough room for what I need to take it for a week. We'll see. We're gonna, we're gonna test this out. I think it will because I have a dedicated tattoo case. So we're gonna find out. Uh, it does have a lot of yellow accents. This is all compartmentalized. It should be sick. I think it's gonna work out. But it is made by Eagle Creek. It is a National Geographic bag. And the real selling point, because it's kind of pricey, like 500 bucks. So it's pricey, it's not cheap bag. I'm not gonna pretend it is. It basically has this warranty. First off, oh shit. So first off, it has this yellow cord. It's a paracord, in case you didn't know. There's all kinds of things you can do with it, like secure a tent, uses Tinder, not the app, repair a shoelace, fishing line, splint, snare trap. I don't even know what the fuck. Tourniquet? 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 I don't know. Fix your fucking broken leg. Fishing net and attached to packs. So there's all kinds of survival tips that came with it, which is, you know, nice. Oh, look, hmm. it has even more tips for you just in case you need ideas. And then it tells you all the things that the bag has, the yonder. This is from thousands of feet underwater to the most remote regions in the Arctic. Travel and exploration have opened my eyes to what it truly means to be a citizen of the world. I agree, Ben Horton, I agree. The no matter what warranty, which means when I fuck this up or it gets fucked up somehow, they're gonna replace it. Yeah, as long as it's not cosmetic, who cares about that? So so we're good. I'm really just worried about the zippers. The zippers be popping out here. Also has 3M hits on it. I don't know where, but it said it. I don't know where they are. Maybe they just meant it had a reflective sheen. We'll see. I don't know. It's sick. I got a pack. So that's really the story here is that now our flight has been changed. But I thought we were leaving around two. We're now leaving at 10. So I gotta go. I gotta edit and I gotta pack a bunch of shit. So I'll see you in Detroit. If you have a tattoo appointment and you don't know where to go, hit me up. I think I got everybody in and situated. Pop up at Nojo's on the 21st, 5 p.m. to 7. Sure are on the way. Earns in Canada. Friends and family is all shipping tomorrow. Omar and Abner have a babysitter for while we're gone and a house sitter. That's it. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what time I'll edit, but I'll see you tomorrow. Being up, I'm going to be up early. All right. Peace.